Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well a couple of videos ago we showed you how to create this flip box by going to ChatGPT and just asking it to create an HTML and CSS flip box. Really easy. Now you may notice the background color there is changing. So I went to ChatGPT and said create a CSS color changing background and it gave me the code to do this. And you can just add a class name, you can add it to a section, you can add it to a module, you can add it to anything you want, a row. Really easy, so let's get started. I'm gonna go over to ChatGPT at openai.com. I'll put the link below the video. Here's the results it gave me. Here's the initial question I asked. Why the CSS code for a color changing background using keyframes and three colors? Let's get that again. And I'll put it in the little box down below. Well, let's add one more color this time, perhaps. And I'm going to hit the little arrow and it'll start generating. I'm using the free version. All you have to do is sign up with an email address and a password. And as you can see, it's pretty quick. It does slow down occasionally when it's really busy. There is a premium version too, but I haven't had a need to use it. It's even writing us an explanation of everything that is happening above here, which is awesome. And while it's doing that, let's go back over and I'll show you where to put this code in a minute. If you go down to your dashboard, Once at the dashboard, go to Appearance and Customize. That's going to take us to this page here. Right at the bottom, you'll see Additional CSS. This is where we're going to paste our code today. You can also do it in Divi under the General tab. They've got a custom CSS panel at the bottom of the page there, but it all goes in the same place. So let's delete what I've actually got here from my last one. And we'll publish that. And if we go back to our old page now and refresh the page, that color change background should disappear. There we go. We've just got our regular flip box on the section there. So let's go back and see how ChatGPT is done. Great. Well, here's the actual code that we want right here. We'll have to give it, make a CSS class for it over here instead of where it says body. So let's copy all of this. I'm just, I'm not going to use the opening and closing style tags because I'm putting it in the customizer. I don't need to, but everything else I'm going to copy. And let's go across to our customizer. I've got two of them open. Let's close that one over there. I'm going to paste it in right here. Now where it says body there, I'm going to create a CSS class. And I don't really need a default color because they'll already have some kind of color on them. So I'm going to delete that first line. So we just start from the animation name there. Great. And let's call this CC back ground. Maybe wants to be unique. I like it to make some sense to me. All class names have to have a dot or a period in front of them. So make sure you put a dot or a period in front of it like that. Oh, we've got a new class name right there. Now it's calling for an animation called color change, which is given us down below there. Animation duration is going to be eight seconds. Animation iteration count is how many times it does it. It's going to keep doing it and doing it there. And here are our actual keyframes. It's starting off with black. 25% is changing color, changing color, changing color, and then back to black again. Let's change those colors out and make them a little more interesting. Let's start with perhaps light blue and you can use hex code or you can use web colors whatever you want to use here and use just a regular dark blue maybe and perhaps crimson and purple And back to the light blue we started with, the last one. 
So over our eight seconds, 25, 50, 75. So that's basically two second intervals. Two seconds of light blue, two seconds of dark blue, two seconds of crim crimson, two seconds of purple, then back to the light blue. Great. Now we've got everything that we need in here. Let's go up and publish the code. And you'll need to publish it before it, it'll actually work for you. Now let's go back to our page. I'm going to enable the visual builder. And we want to copy the class name that we had here without the dot. When you're putting it into an element, you don't need that dot there. Control C to copy. Back to the page. If we roll on down, I'll go to that same section with the flip box there. Blue tab for a section, green for a row, dark tab for a module. I'm going to go into the section. And this is common to all Divi modules. If you go over to the advanced, that's where you're going to find your CSS ID and classes. Just open it up. There's the last class I gave it for that last code that we did. I'm going to paste the new class name in there, Control V to paste. And as you can see, it's already put that color change in there. Now that's pretty dramatic. That's pretty quick right there. I'm going to slow mine down for a bit of drama. I just like it to be a little smoother than that. I mean, that's great and working everything, but it's just a little bit quick. So let's just save that and we'll go back. And here you can speed it up or slow it down. There's your eight seconds under the animation duration there. Let's take it up to maybe 20. Well, let's say 15. And remember, publish again. It's still doing it there because I haven't refreshed the page, but let's try adding it to another element. Let's add it to this module right here. And again, it's going to be in the advanced. And all we have to do is put the class name in here. There's the old one, remember? Get rid of that. Put a new one in. There we go. And you can add it to any row or module that you want there. So let's put it in perhaps this contact form. And they've already got a color in the background. That's why I deleted the default color that was in the code. As you can see, that's now changing. So there you go, guys, as easy as that. Let's just save our changes, make sure this is all going to work on the front end. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And we'll exit the Visual Builder. We'll roll on down. And there it is. There's our little flip box. And our color change is now taking 15 seconds, which to me is a little more graceful. And because we're starting and ending with the same color, there's no jump. If you start and end with different colors when it gets to the end, it does jump a little bit. We've done this manually with code before now, but how easy was that with ChatGPT? And like I say, it's absolutely free. If you don't like what you want, you can modify it, say add one more color. And the results that you get are all dependent on how much information you give it at first. The more detailed you make your description, the better the answer is likely to be. So there it is, guys. There's how to create an automated color changing background with ChatGPT. I'm not going to put this code down below. I usually do with these videos. I'd encourage you to go over to OpenAI and try it yourself. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them or make a demo video for you. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.